Let's give you a clean. There we go, that's better. Don't even ask why you're seeing this video on this particular channel. I will give you a brief explanation, and that's that I wanna share more videos with you, and just a lot of the things I wanna say don't fit on the Geek Noise channel. The Geek Noise channel is, for all intents and purposes, or for want of a better description, a professional channel. And uh, some of the things that I wanna talk about would just be totally wrong over there. So you're gonna be watching over here again. And just to catch you up on what I've been up to over the weekend and last week, well, the weekend was a lot of uh, sort of organizing. My daughter's going to university very soon. So we had lots of bits and pieces to sort out for that. And then last week was a busy work week. I did go to London on one of the days and you'll see some footage of that in a video over on the Luxury Lifestyle channel. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're now on Monday morning on the following week. I've got a little bit of recording to do today for my Get Fit With Gadgets series. And also I'm gonna be recording this. I still can't believe that I got this and I'm just super proud of it. In fact, my mum came round over the weekend and uh, she was really pleased to have a closer look at it. She'd seen it in one of the videos, but not in person. And over the back there, I've got another smartphone to start testing and reviewing. And then of course on the little stand, the Motorola Moto X Play and the iPod Touch, which is hopefully soon gonna be joined by some more Apple products. Not the most ergonomic of workstations, yes I know, sitting here with a laptop on my lap as it's designed to be used, but not for a long uh, period, probably about 30 minutes to an hour at the very most. And I do this every single morning, even Saturday and Sunday, I'm normally up about 6.30am, 7am at the latest, and I go through all of my emails, I've got 180 emails to go through today. And then I go through some comments to speak with you guys and girls, which I really enjoy doing. And then I do my links for the videos throughout the day. And uh, I better get on with it. I feel like I'm sort of being distracted by this. It's hopefully gonna be goodbye to the Skybox at some time today. And that's because I finally decided to ditch Sky, so I've canceled it and I'm gonna be swapping it out for one of these free sat boxes from Humax. I'll hopefully be able to share that with you if it gets delivered today. It's time for another Ask the Geek video. These are the videos where I answer your questions that you ask me on Instagram. Now, there are a few reasons why I don't answer particular questions. Now, one would be if it's inappropriate for the channel. I have got so much editing to do. Yes, it arrived. No, not the cup of tea. This is what just arrived. This is a Humax HDR 1100S, one terabyte free sat box. And this is what's gonna replace my Sky TV. Now I'll tell you a little bit of a story about how this came about. First of all, I was fed up with Sky. I just don't like paying for every month because I don't think it offers good value at all. So I ordered up one of these free sat boxes and I ordered it from Richer Sounds. Now they only had the black ones in stock at the time of me ordering. So I wasn't too keen on having the black version. I wanted the white version really, but they sent it out anyway. And the guy on an email said, if I got back in contact with them once they delivered it, then if they had the white one in stock, they would swap it over. So I contacted them and this really helpful guy, Richer Sounds in London, actually walked round to one of their London stores where there was still a white one terabyte one in stock on the shelf, picked it up, shipped it out to me, and then picked the black one up, which was actually delivered on Friday. And it's just arrived, so I'm gonna unbox it now. So here we go. This is what the box looks like. Very cool. And oh, I'll show you the back as well. So this just tells you some of the sort of features. 200 plus channels, so I'm not going to get the full lineup that I get with Sky, but I don't watch a lot of the channels anyway. So, in the top of the box, we've got a power cable, then we've also got an extra little power brick, just a compact power brick, nothing too big. So, this goes into that power cable, and then this in turn will go inside the box itself. 
we've got a bag with various bits and pieces in, including a remote control. Let's just rip this open. I can show you the remote. Oh dear. Certainly strong plastic. Here we go. So we've got some other bits and pieces inside here, including an HDMI cable and an Ethernet cable. That's really good that you get an Ethernet cable inside the box as well. Nice looking remote. There's batteries in that bag as well for the remote control. So this is what the remote looks like. Very cool looking remote. Like the look of that. And then the last bit inside the box is the recorder itself. I'm so excited about this. No longer will I have to pay monthly to Sky, which has got to be a good thing. Now, I know that my setup is primarily black in the black unit, but I just heard that the black version of this was a real fingerprint and dust magnet. And I thought, hey, white will look very cool as well. So I went for the white version, and this is what it looks like. So on the front or top edge, we've got uh, probably volume controls, channel up and down, the power button. Uh, across the front, just the IR receiver. Apparently there's a light somewhere underneath. Perhaps this is the light that glows. And then clear on this side, on this side we've got a USB connector so we can plug like a media drive in. And then across the back uh, we've got uh, two uh, satellite inputs so for twin LMBs because you can watch two channels, uh, sorry, record two channels and watch a third at the same time. Um, and then we've also got uh, uh, audio inputs, composite out, or audio outputs I should say, digital output, the Ethernet, another USB, we've also got HDMI, and then we've got the input there for that power adapter. All looks really nicely laid out. Free time by FreeSat. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and see if it works. Okay, so here we go, it is all installed. There's the old Skybox. And there is the Humax HDR 1100S that I left and right to see what I want to record. So perhaps later on this evening, you can see EastEnders at 7 p.m. I've got a series record set up on that. Can't comment on how well that's gonna work yet because I haven't recorded anything. But if we go backwards, so we're back to what's on now. Uh, can I go back any further than that? So I can actually go back to earlier today or yesterday and actually watch something that was on yesterday which is really very cool so i can actually skip backwards in time as well as going forwards in time and scheduling recordings that is really cool so perhaps i want to watch mrs brown's boys that was on on saturday and i can click watch now it will check my internet connection i've got an ethernet cable in the box you can see me standing behind the telly now so it's now loading this into bbc iplayer i can say i'm 16 and older i don't want a parental lock and it will now start playing mrs brown's boys we've got some information here about the actual program which i would imagine will disappear and then we're watching the program very very cool indeed i'm really pleased so far so that was a really quick setup procedure on that Humax box, probably about five minutes in total, plugging it in and then it runs through like a setup wizard and then I was up and running and I've got pretty much all of the channels I had on Sky TV, with the exception of the premium channels of course. The one thing I'm probably going to miss is having uh, UK Gold, which I used to watch quite a lot, but there are probably ways I can get that back. And if I really wanted to add some channels now, instead of paying for the full Sky TV package, I could get something like Now TV. And then don't forget, I've also got Amazon Prime. So I can stream my movies and Amazon Prime TV series uh, on either my Fire TV stick or, of course, my PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. So I've no longer got to pay those uh, monthly fees to Sky, which I'm really happy about. The picture quality on the Humax box looks fantastic and I think I'm gonna be really happy with it. So big, big thumbs up to the customer service from Richer Sound as well. Really very impressed with it. So I've been a busy boy today. I've set these up. These are some pre-Sonus Cirrus 
C4.5 Bluetooth studio monitors. So you can either use them Bluetooth or hardwired. I'm gonna be doing a review of these soon, but they are really nice. I've had a quick listen to them and I'm very impressed. I'm gonna be testing them in the studio initially. I'm gonna put my MacBook Pro in the middle here for the video, and then I will move them into the editing room. So it's been a really busy day today, but thoroughly enjoyable. I've got absolutely stacks of work done, and I'm gonna sit back and relax a little bit now and play with that Humax box. Gonna schedule some recordings so that when I talk about it next time to you, and I'll probably bring you an update just in a future video, and uh, I'll let you know how it's been going, but I'm very impressed so far. And I'll tell you something, sorry to go on about the same product time and time again in this video, but these PreSonus speakers are amazing, and I'm gonna be bringing you a full review of those over on the Geekanoids channel. So anyway, I hope you've had a fantastic day, wherever you are. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.